If your games keep stuttering, your CPU always seems overloaded and your powerful GPU just sits underused, this video is exactly what you need. Today, we're going straight to the root cause behind high CPU usage and low GPU utilization during gaming, and more importantly, how to fix it. No fluff, no confusion, just a step-by-step -step breakdown to balance your system, unlock full performance, and finally enjoy smooth, lag-free gameplay the way it was meant to be. Let's get started. What's well, to with the lag and hyping while you play games so guys you need a gear up booster this is the ultimate tool to lower your ping boost stability and give you zero lag pro players like asian jeff and polarized use it to stay ahead so why not you download gear up booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match step one fix high cpu usage by disabling power throttling one of the most common reasons your CPU usage stays unnecessarily high during gaming is because of a hidden Windows feature called power throttling. It was originally introduced to save battery life by lowering CPU performance during background tasks. However, on desktops or even plugged in laptops, this setting can completely backfire during games causing your processor to run at lower speeds while your games demand full performance. This results in choppy gameplay, unstable frame pacing, and your CPU hitting 100% usage while your GPU barely gets involved. That's why the first thing we need to do is shut this setting off permanently. To do that, press Windows plus R to open the Run dialog box. Type gpedit.msc and hit Enter to launch the Local Group Policy Editor. Once opened, navigate to this path on the left-hand side computer configuration, administrative templates, system, power management, power throttling settings. Inside this section, double click on the setting named turn off power throttling. In the window that appears, change the option to enabled, then click apply and OK to finalize the change. After doing this, your CPU will finally operate without being held back by background power saving rules. This leads to lower CPU usage during games, improved responsiveness, and more stable overall system performance. Step 2. Fix high CPU usage with system configuration tweaks. Sometimes your CPU ends up overloaded, not because of poor hardware, but because of how Windows is configured to use it. By default, Windows doesn't always assign all available cores during startup and it allows too many background services to run, many of which drain CPU power unnecessarily. This creates high CPU usage before your game even launches. In this step, we'll fine tune core system behavior to unlock your CPU's full strength and eliminate unnecessary processes that affect gaming performance. Start by opening the Windows search bar and typing system configuration. Click on it from the search results to open the tool. Once inside, go to the boot tab and click the advanced options button. Now you'll see a section labeled number of processors. Tick the checkbox next to it to enable manual control. Then open the drop down menu and select the highest number listed, whether it's 4, 8, 12, 16 or more, depending on your CPU. This tells Windows to utilize all available cores during system boot, reducing startup time and allowing your CPU to deliver consistent performance right from the beginning. Click OK and return to the main system configuration window. Next, switch to the services tab. Here's the important part. Check the box that says hide all Microsoft services. This ensures that you don't accidentally disable anything critical to Windows itself. After hiding Microsoft services, review the remaining list of third-party services. Disable anything that's non-essential or not related to your GPU, drivers or system monitoring, especially apps like update checkers, third-party launchers or background utilities that consume CPU cycles. Once this is done, your CPU will start up faster, run with fewer background distractions and stay focused on delivering better performance during gaming. Step 3. Fix high CPU usage and low GPU usage with Tested Optimization Pack. When dealing with high CPU usage or low GPU usage while gaming, built-in Windows settings often aren't enough. That's why this next step involves using a carefully tested optimization pack that directly targets both problems. These are not random tweaks, they're purpose-built configurations that adjust deep-level system behavior for smoother gaming. 
Whether you're facing stutters, unstable FPS, or your GPU sitting idle while your CPU is maxed out, this pack gives you an all-in-one solution to bring balance back to your system performance. To get started, go to my official website, uptopacks.com. Once you're there, click on the FPS Boost section. Look for the post with the same title and thumbnail as this video, it's easy to identify. Scroll down a bit and you'll find a direct download link for the full pack. No pop-ups or extra steps. After downloading, extract the pack and begin with the folder named CPU Optimization. Inside, you'll see a series of registry files and scripts. These files are designed to fine-tune your processor's responsiveness, improve background task handling, and reduce excessive CPU load during gaming. Make sure to install each file one by one without skipping anything. Every tweak in this folder plays a specific role in managing high CPU usage effectively. Once you've completed that part, move on to the CPU priority folder. Here, you'll find two subfolders, Intel and AMD. Open the one that matches your processor. Inside, run the dedicated optimization file. It automatically sets your system to prioritize real-time gaming processes and reduces unnecessary CPU pressure from background services. Now, open the GPU Registry Tweaks folder from the downloaded optimization pack. Inside, you'll find a file named Gaming Performance Registry. Double-click it to launch the prompt, then select Yes when asked for confirmation and hit OK to apply the changes. This is the base tweak that enhances the default behavior of your GPU across the entire system. Next, you'll see two more files, low-medium optimization and medium-high optimization. These are tailored based on your hardware type. If you're using a budget or mid-range GPU, choose the low-medium optimization file. For more powerful systems, go with medium-high optimization. If you're unsure which one fits best, leave a comment and I'll personally help you decide. For this guide, we'll use low-medium optimization to target average gaming setups. Double-click it, confirm with yes, and finalize by clicking OK. Finally, head into the GPU Thread Tweaks folder. Here you'll find brand-specific registry tweaks for AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA. Choose the one that matches your GPU. For example, if you're on an NVIDIA system, apply the file named NVIDIA Thread Optimization. Simply double-click it, confirm both prompts by selecting Yes twice, and then press OK to complete. After applying all these tweaks, your GPU will handle multi-threaded workloads more efficiently, reduce stuttering, and show much higher utilization during gaming sessions. Now we will use the Quick CPU tool. If you're dealing with unstable FPS, input delays, or your CPU maxing out too quickly, this tool is essential. Start by launching Quick CPU, and in the top section, you'll see a drop-down menu for selecting your system power plan. From there, choose Ultimate Performance. This plan disables energy saving limits and allows your processor to operate at its full capability at all times. It ensures smoother gameplay, faster response times, and better FPS across all games. Now scroll down to the Core Optimization Sliders. Core Parking. Set this to 100%. This ensures that all your CPU cores remain active, preventing windows from deactivating unused cores during gaming. Performance. Move this slider to 100% as well. It pushes your CPU to work at full output without unnecessarily throttling down. Frequency scaling. Set to 100% so your CPU sticks to its maximum clock speed even during high load scenarios. Turbo boost. Slide this to 100% to allow the processor to exceed its base clock when more power is needed. Once you've adjusted all sliders, click Apply, then press OK to lock in the settings. Next, click on the Advanced CPU Settings button. In this section, make sure the following options are enabled. Turbo Boost. Check this to allow your CPU to temporarily overclock itself when required. Enhanced Intel Speed Step Technology. EIST. Enable this for better performance scaling. It adjusts speed based on demand without dragging performance down. Turbo power limits. Make sure all options here are turned on so your CPU is allowed to draw maximum power and thermal headroom when needed. Once you're done, simply close, quick CPU, and the changes will apply automatically. 
After these adjustments, your CPU will respond faster, multitask more efficiently, and maintain stable high performance without spiking to 100% unnecessarily during gaming. Now, let's shift to fixing low GPU usage. In the same pack, locate the tool called MSI Mode Utility. Right click on the file and choose Run as Administrator. This step is critical as the tool modifies low level device behavior and needs full access. Once opened, you'll see a list of all your system devices. Look for your GPU under the Display Adapters section. There are two key tweaks to apply here. Enable MSI mode. This replaces outdated interrupt signaling with faster message-based communication between the CPU and GPU. It improves real-time responsiveness and reduces micro-latency during gameplay. Set interrupt priority to high. This ensures that your GPU tasks are prioritized above non-critical system processes, which helps your graphics card stay fully active under load. Once both settings are applied, simply hit Apply to lock in the changes. After completing this GPU step, your system will give proper priority to the graphics card, helping eliminate FPS dips, boosting GPU load usage, and creating a much smoother gaming experience overall. To get started with Gear Up Booster, Download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, Return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 4. Fix low GPU usage with NVIDIA control panel tweaks. Sometimes your GPU isn't being used to its full potential simply because the default driver settings aren't optimized for gaming. NVIDIA GPUs come with their own control panel and inside it are a few powerful options that can greatly influence how your graphics card performs. These settings are often overlooked, but they directly control latency, power usage, and rendering behavior, making them critical for anyone trying to fix low GPU usage during games. If you're using an NVIDIA card, fine-tuning these settings can unlock better utilization and deliver smoother gameplay. To begin, right-click on your desktop and open the NVIDIA control panel. Once it opens, look at the left sidebar and click on Manage 3D Settings. This section contains most of the performance-related configurations for your GPU. Under the Global Settings tab, apply the following optimizations. Low Latency Mode, set this to Ultra. This minimizes the time between your input and what you see on screen, making your controls feel more responsive, especially useful in competitive or fast-paced games. Power Management Mode. Switch this to Prefer Maximum Performance. This forces your GPU to stay at high clock speeds even when idle or lightly loaded, helping avoid sudden drops in GPU usage. OpenGL Rendering GPU. If you're working with OpenGL-based apps or games, select your dedicated NVIDIA GPU here to ensure all graphical tasks are assigned to the correct processor. Vertical Sync. V-Sync. Set this to off to eliminate frame rate capping and reduce input delay. If you notice screen tearing, you can try Adaptive V-Sync as a smoother alternative. After applying these settings, your GPU will maintain higher performance levels during games, eliminate power-related usage drops, and provide a smoother, more responsive experience. Step 5. Fix low GPU usage with advanced Windows graphics settings. 
Even if you have a powerful GPU, Windows sometimes doesn't use it efficiently, especially when games are mistakenly assigned to integrated graphics or when system level features are left disabled. That's why fine tuning a few built in Windows graphics options can significantly help fix low GPU usage. These settings let you force specific games to run on your dedicated GPU and enable a hidden feature that improves how Windows schedules GPU tasks in real time. It's an easy but powerful step to squeeze out better performance and smoother frame pacing from your system. Start by right-clicking on your desktop and selecting display settings. From there, scroll down and click on graphics settings under the related settings section. This opens a dedicated panel for managing GPU specific behavior across apps and games. At the top, you'll see an option labeled hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. If it's available on your system, turn it on. This feature lets your system offload certain rendering tasks directly to the GPU instead of relying on the CPU, which helps reduce latency and increase efficiency, especially in newer games. Next, it's time to manually assign your games to run in high performance mode. In the same window, under Choose an app to set preference, click the drop down and select Desktop app. Then hit Browse to locate your game's executable file. For example, if you're optimizing Fortnite, navigate to Fortnite Game Binaries Win64 and select the Fortnite client Win64 Shipping Exafile. Click Add Once Selected. After adding the game, click Options next to it. A small window will appear with three choices. Select High Performance. This tells Windows to use your dedicated GPU instead of the integrated one when launching the game. Click Save to apply the change. You can repeat this exact process for any other game, such as Counter-Strike 2, Valorant, or whatever titles you play. Each game you assign to high performance ensures full GPU usage and eliminates chances of Windows defaulting to weaker graphics modes. After applying these tweaks, your GPU will be prioritized for gaming tasks, resulting in better utilization, higher FPS, and a noticeable drop in in-game stutters or slowdowns. All right guys, that's all for today's guide. If this helped improve your gaming performance, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more tips, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and happy gaming.